I love you. I love this union. I love what it stands for. The obligation we have to make a difference in people's lives is an incredible opportunity. We must never be satisfied just to tread water. Laborers don't float with the tide. Laborers make waves. History doesn't shape us, we shape history. We don't crack and we don't cower. Bell sounds, we come out swinging. Terry O'Sullivan, Lyuna's second longest serving general president, was born into Lyuna. The son of legendary labor leader, Lyuna General Secretary Treasurer, Terrence J. O'Sullivan. As a longtime member of Local 1353 in West Virginia, Terry's been a card carrying laborer for 49 years. He attended his first Lyuna convention when he was 11 years old in 1966. Then, at the 1971 convention, Terry witnessed his father swearing in as General Secretary Treasurer. As most of you know, I grew up as a laborer in a laborer's family. Like many of you, I am proud to be the son of a laborer. My father, former General Secretary Treasurer Terrence J. O'Sullivan. Thanks to him, Thanks to all the leaders of our past who he served with. Thanks to all the laborers who stood tall with him. I learned what it truly means to be a member of this union. From humble beginnings in 1903, Lyona has become the lifeblood of North America's labor movement. Inspired by the courage and conviction of our union forebears, Terry has honored their legacy carrying the torch as he led Lyuna into the future. We took this union from a small group of courageous immigrant and minority workers that no one else wanted to the powerhouse it is today, one that everyone else envies. Thank God nobody wanted us. Thank God they dismissed us. And thank God they underestimated us. Because my strong, proud, and united brothers and sisters, that motivated us to become the smartest, strongest, toughest bunch of street fighters the trade union movement has ever seen. Terry became Lyuna's 10th general president on January 1, 2000, and was elected to his first full term the following year. In this union, we will not stand still. We will not simply sustain. We will not merely maintain. We will grow and strengthen this international union as never before. Over the next two decades, he ascended to be one of the most respected and revered labor leaders in the United States. Unanimously re-elected for five terms as general president, Terry was guided by the principle that we only succeed by team effort and involvement, and that leadership accountability starts at the top. Throughout his union career, Terry challenged himself, this union, and the entire labor movement to do more and do better for the proud men and women that we represent. We as laborers commit ourselves, as our forefathers did, to leave it better than the way we found it. Lyuna has always been the beacon of hope and opportunity, the pathway from despair and poverty to the middle class. We, the leaders of Lyuna, are the protectors of the righteous principles of justice, honor, and strength for our members and their families. This is our calling. This is our duty. This is our legacy. This is our time. Terry expanded Lyuna's headquarters while preserving its historic building, a symbol of Lyuna's strength, one block from the White House. Terry spearheaded Lyuna's charitable giving through the Terrence J. O'Sullivan Lyuna Charitable Foundation. Terry has always believed in the promise of the American dream and that immigrant rights are human rights. 
Terry's work for justice and labor rights has extended across the globe, from Ireland, Italy, Spain, and Portugal, to Israel and Australia. Lyona is known worldwide because of our leaders and our affiliates. We're a global labor movement. What happens in Australia, the same motherfuckers are trying to do the same thing in the United States. We're here to support you. We're here to stand with you. We're here to fight with you. We need to make sure that the future of our countries are in the hands of working men and women. The staunchest of Sinn Féin supporters, Terry's commitment to a peaceful, just, and united Ireland has been a lifelong passion. The cause of labor is the cause of Ireland. The cause of Ireland is the cause of labor. That common cause is freedom, liberty, and economic justice. Whether a firebrand, a fighter, or a reformer, Terry's always been a hard-charging, working-class warrior. He's a stalwart ally and implacable foe. He has your back, and he never backs down. He led the charge to take over Ulico during its darkest moments, serving as Ulico's chairman and CEO and restoring the organization to financial health and security. He pushed the labor movement to invest in itself by organizing like never before. One of the most historic resolutions ever passed on our tenure was 25 cents for organizing. Today, the 25 cents to our regional organizing funds generates more than $80 million a year, and more important, puts over 450 organizers in the field. Never afraid to pick a fight when laborers' jobs were on the line, Terry battled to protect the livelihoods of the hardworking men and women of Lyona, from pipeline workers to public employees. We rally and raise our voices in solidarity. He led Lyuna to become the number one union in the energy sector, and he protected family-supporting jobs on the Keystone Pipeline, Dakota Access, and dozens of other projects. This isn't about a pipeline, it's about a lifeline for the proud men and women that we are. Yeah! It's about putting food on the table. If anybody's gonna get in the way of us putting our members to work. He put extremists on notice and pushed politicians to pay more than lip service to blue-collar working-class men and women. We must elect politicians who look like us, who think like us, who speak like us, and who truly believe in our struggle. Simply put, we must elect our friends and defeat our enemies. Terry galvanized solidarity across the union by leading the adoption of a bold new logo and look that worked to ensure that every politician would see and feel the power of orange. With Terry's commitment to political muscle, Lionel mobilized to help propel Barack Obama to the White House, and then later Joe Biden, the most pro-union president to ever sit in the Oval Office. Joe Biden is one of us, through and through. Terry forged strong relationships with U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Senate Leader Chuck Schumer, and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, helping them advance Lyuna's agenda. Terry's work ultimately paid off with a once-in-a-generation investment in transportation, energy, water, and transit that will create hundreds of thousands of union jobs. Because of the power and prestige of our Lyuna PAC, we have a seat at the head table and have the ability to influence key decision makers to pass legislation that benefits our members and their families. Lyona is equally a great political force in Canada, where advocacy and leadership are paying big dividends in the creation of good jobs with high labor standards. And Lyona's relationship with the National Postal Mail Handlers has never been more robust. We fought for everything we got. We got everything that we fought for, and we'll fight to keep it. We, Lyuna, turn shit jobs into good jobs. We, Lyuna, make job sites safer. 
We, Lyuna, created the North American middle class. We are the laborers born in the streets, forged by adversity and driven by justice. We don't back down, we don't stand down, we don't step down, and we won't be kept down. So stand up, rise up, lift up. Terry O'Sullivan steered this union through recessions and downturns, boom and bust, political strife, and political victories. And throughout his years of fighting for the rights of Lyuna members, his family was always by his side. Today, Lyuna has record high membership in both the US and Canada, with opportunities expanding and the union more respected and more powerful than ever. While others are standing still, we're marching forward. While others are relying on hope, we're betting on hard work. We're building a legacy of our generation, a legacy that we should be damn proud of. Brothers and sisters, I am humbled and honored to be your general president. I am proud to be a laborer, and I am proud of you and the work that you do each and every day. May you feel the power, may you be the power, and may you use the power. Thank you, God bless the United States and Canada, God bless our troops, and God bless Labor's International Union of North America. Feel the power, use the power, be the damn power.